Sting Emma Dale back in 2008. Our final guest has built up a loyal fan base through his portrayal as the lovable mechanic Aaron Livesey, who struggled to come to terms with his sexuality. Critics have agreed that this is actor, one actor who's definitely one to watch, and uh, last year he picked up five awards for his role. Like ourselves, he's been nominated for an NTA this year, and going by this performance, well, we think he's a worthy winner. Please welcome Danny Miller. Woo! Thank you. It's suddenly gone really surreal, this. I watch this all the time. Do Sorry. you? Sorry, yeah. It's your first time, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. On the show? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. How are you feeling about the prospect of coming down and, and taking part in the show today? Well, I'm a big fan of, of Sarah, oh. like, all the Motley Week and all that, yeah, oh, I watch that. Don't yeah. worry about us. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, obviously, big fans, big fans of all of you. Sorry to single one of you out, yeah, sorry. No, 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 sorry. Listen, I think it's... Yeah. Carol's been here for ten years. Eleven. Eleven. Sorry! Eleven years. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've been a busy boy, haven't you? In, a, in amongst have, yeah. picking up all those awards, you've read a real... a really meaty storyline to, to come to terms with with Emma Dell. Has it been tough? Yeah, I mean, you know, it is, it is tough, obviously, being sort of a straight lad uh, from Manchester. Um, <laughs> and, obviously, being given a storyline, playing a gay role is always, you know, difficult for a straight lad. But, you know, I've enjoyed it, and it's been going on for about a year now, so... Um, I really have enjoyed myself, and it's, it's a big role to play, so... It is, isn't it? What, yeah. How are you... You know, when you say it's, it's difficult for a straight guy to, to play a gay role, I, suppose, I mean, this is... You're, you're how old now? 20 now. 20. Yeah. And, you're, you're, and you're doing same-sex kind of love scenes, aren't you? Was that difficult, your first male kiss? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was difficult, you know, but I sort of... I, I almost saw it as, as entertainment, really, you know, it's, it, it's in, in some senses. Yeah. It's, um, you know, we're, we're just doing it for our viewers and sort of playing out a real-life story. A good work, isn't it, at the end yeah, of the day? Exactly, uh, yeah, exactly, What's the reaction been, though, from, you know, people that you meet? It's been good, you know, and, yeah, obviously, unfortunately, being in, in soaps and stuff, as you'll know, um, it is difficult because people sort of see you as that person, um, so they're always a bit like, oh, you're really gay, and, you know, I've had stuff like gay, gay boys shouting at me, which is never nice, Yeah, but you know? I, bet, I bet you've helped a lot of people in the gay community come into terms with, 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 with coming out. I mean, have you well, had a lot of support? Yeah, there? I've had a lot of sort of fan letters that you get sent in every, every sort of couple of weeks, and a lot of people have said, you know, you've helped me sort of see sense and realise that it's actually not that bad, because it's not, you know, if, if you're gay... Yeah, you know, I think day... it's pretty bad if people are shouting gay boy at you, because we live yeah. in a day and age where surely we accept and embrace people of, of all genders, yeah. of, you know, of, yeah, of all sexuality. Yeah, but you're always going to get your yeah. idiots, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, of course you are. Yeah, they are, yeah. That Some of this seems that you've been quite emotional, haven't they? Do you yeah. find that, is that quite tough, like, to do that, because it's a long period of time that you're recording for, isn't it? Is it tough? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, it, it can get tough and it can get a bit knackering and, you know, emotionally tiring, I suppose, but... You know, you just sort of, you just sort of take it in your stride and just, you know, you're given the time to get yourself in that emotional preparation that you need. So, you know, I can't argue. How do you do that? Uh, well, I've had a lot of bad things happen in my life, so. Um, yeah, no, so it's just, you know, you just, there's, there's always help. There's always sort of things yeah. that they can put in your eyes and stuff if you're tired or whatever. But I do try to do as much I as I can. I find it easier to cry than to laugh. If I have to laugh in, in a drama, yeah. it just, it's, it's like, ah, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Rubbish, I'd much rather cry if I see such and such laughs. I freak out. <laughs> 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 but I bet your mum and dad, I've known, I've known uh, Danny's dad for about 100 years. I knew him yeah. when he was a little baby. Yeah. Are they really, really proud? Because yeah. your dad's a stand-up comic, isn't he? Yeah, he yeah. is, yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. Um, he's, um, yeah, he is proud, you know. He's, he's over in um, Australia at the moment. But, yeah, he's, he's very proud and he's followed me all the way. So Your mum has all your trophies lined up, does she? She does, yeah, bless her. Yeah, she does. She's great, she's watching at home, by the way. You've had a few, haven't you? You've had a few awards. Uh, five, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's good. enough for a cabinet, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that requires a cabinet. Five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hand up for another one. Yeah, the NCAs Wednesday were you girls, yeah. Well, but you both are, aren't you? You and Mark. Yeah, yeah. both of us are up for one, yeah. So, so Mark plays Jackson, yeah. your lover, on screen, yeah. and you're nominated, not in the same category, no, I hasten no, yeah. to add. Um, uh, bring us up to speed with what's going on with... And, and his character, because he's he's well, you're his carer really at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, he's not well, that. yeah, he's more of sort of like a a, a, a carer for him. He's got a, a carer from the NHS, which is uh, as obviously uh, they provide um, for him. Uh, but he's sort of he's got tetraplegia, so he's you know he, he can't walk and stuff. But there are going to be scenes coming up soon where um, Aaron's freed. 
from Jackson and, and Aaron basically goes out and meets another lad at Jackson's will um, and you know it, it's, it's interesting it's nice to sort of try different things and you know get away from just sort of acting with the same person and sort of test your your heights of to with other people really which is always nice so you're also involved in helping to um to set up a memorial yeah. football match for gavin yeah. Blythe, who was the wonderful lovely producer yeah. of, of, of everdale him. who sadly died so young what, yeah. what is it you're doing for him uh, i'm organized a football charity match soap charity match and the evening um in manchester against coronation street um, and it's at the uh, regional sports arena, which is next to the city of Manchester Stadium, and it's kick-off at one on the 19th of February, which is a Saturday, so obviously everyone's welcome. And this is a man who really kind of spurred you on in yeah. your career. He, yeah, he absolutely. instrumental in this storyline. Absolutely. And it would be great, wouldn't it, for Emmerdale to pick up an award on Wednesday night yeah. in memory of him. That would yeah. be something else. Yeah. Well, that, I, for one, would be dedicating it to, to him solely, yeah. Oh. Great man. Now, as well as... Um, getting these great storylines you've also managed to establish a great romance with Emmerdale haven't you because you are are you dating one of your co-stars I am yes yeah uh Kirsty Lee yeah she's so um... when you come off set having snog Jackson is she a bit like go and wash your mouth <laughs> 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 no she, I mean she's you know she's an actress herself so she you know she knows what's you know what what it's about and she's very professional she just sort of says you know get on with it and stop moaning <laughs> which is great coming from your girlfriend as you're about to kiss another lad but yeah <laughs> get on with but, it. Yeah, yeah. are you in a lot of scenes together or not you me do? and Kirsty. Kirsty. no yeah. we've we did one scene when we first met about a year ago <laughs> Uh, and then we've not done a scene since. I don't think they trust us. <laughs> <laughs> well, best of luck for Wednesday thank and you. with the rest of the storyline. And thank you so much for coming in Thanks today. Thanks for having me. Danny Miller, everyone. <laughs>